This Kia Soul was kind of like the person that was forced to grow up with the personality because it didn't always have good looks. But 2023 is its glow up year because it has this whole new redesign. Kia has finally ditched the hamsters at the bus stop. They dropped the turbo engine and they dropped the X-Line trim. Today we are looking at the base LX trim with the LX Tech package. Let's get into the powertrain. So the 1.6 liter turbo is gone. The only powertrain option available is a two liter naturally aspirated engine. That's gonna get you 147 horsepower and 132 pound feet of torque. So yes, it is on the slower side. However, it's a great combination of cargo capacity and fuel economy. So with this like 14 gallon fuel tank, you can get up to 20 miles to the gallon in the city and about 30 on the freeway. So let's talk about this redesign. It has overall been simplified. There's some similarities, uh, like the trapezoid shape of the grill is very similar, but there's just this whole new grill. Even on the base LX, this grill almost looks more like the grill on the GT line of 2022. So you could consider this a really great upgrade. The only difference I would say is that the, um, these little details here were kind of like a little Y shape and now they're just simple rectangles. Another really fun detail is how the badge is on the front where it used to be on the hood. Now it's behind this glass, uh, making it really easy to clean. And also the headlights. I noticed a lot of manufacturers are going a lot more linear with their design, but Kia has been there, done that in 2022. So I would describe these as more or less of like a teardrop shape because it kind of droops down at the bottom there a little bit more than uh, compared to last year. And then let's look at these wheels. These are the 16 inch alloy wheels that you will get along with your LX tech package, which is only an additional 500 bucks, which I feel like that in and of itself makes it worth it to upgrade from the steelies with hubcaps that you would originally get without that tech package. The LX Tech Package also adds on some driving aids. You will get blind spot collision avoidance assist. You'll get rear cross traffic collision avoidance. We got lots of great updates happening on the back, uh, starting with your brake lights. Uh, last year, it kind of went like this constant looking light all the way around it. Like this part was all red and now they've broken it up to look like three individual brake lights in a reverse light, which looks so much more modern. And for what it's worth, like last year that was on brand for the Kia Soul to have something <laughs> that off the wall, but this is a really good upgrade. Another thing that is different are your bumper reflectors. They run vertically instead of horizontally right here on the, out the edges. And then another change is the font of your badge. They've kind of ditched that serpentine S that was on the 2022. And honestly, that was almost like an infamous logo for me. So I kind of wish that they just left it, but this looks really nice. It also like, it just looks really good with your K backwards N Kia logo. Behind the second row, you will get 24 cubic feet of space. And with that second row folded down, you will more than double that with 62 cubic feet of space. The interior of the base LX trim doesn't really see any major updates. It's when you start getting up into the higher trims that the layout of your dash changes a little bit. The biggest change in this LX is you no longer have an analog instrument cluster. It's now digital. In a world full of basic crossovers, be a weird one like the 2023 Kia Soul. And a big shout out to Capital Kia for hooking it up. If you have any questions or you want to let us know what you think of this new redesign, you can drop it below in the comments. Bye.